Do you watch Game of Thrones? I have seen it, yes. The whole thing? Yes. Okay. Yes. So let me lay out the scene. Uh, and this is a great spoiler alert. This is from the end of season seven. Uh, and season eight has not come out yet. We have the meeting of the minds of the, the, the leaders. Mm -hmm. And you have Jon Snow and Daenerys uh, on one hand. And you have Cersei on the other hand. Cersei is the evil, horrible queen. Jon Snow and Daenerys are the sort of good, uh, benevolent rulers of their kingdom. And uh, they have a common enemy in the north, which is the White Walkers, these dead ghost-like things, which if they end up coming into the, the land they live in, everyone's going to die. And the, in this meeting, they need to figure out how to band together in order to fight the common enemy. Mm -hmm. So Cersei agrees to work with them. And she, she, she's very skillful about this. She denies it at first, which would be her first uh, reaction because both Jon Snow and Daenerys want to overthrow her. They're sworn enemies. And she's so clever, she knows that it's not going to look real if she just agrees to uh, help them. So she denies it. She says, no, I refuse to work with you. I'm not working with you. I only care about protecting myself. I'll move to an island. I'll be fine. And then someone goes and talks to her and then... She puts her hand on her stomach to indicate, just to subtly indicate that she has a baby. She's a, she's a clever mastermind genius. Mm -hmm. And then she comes out saying, I will fight with you. We will put everything aside for now. We'll resume our war when the whole situation's over. And uh, we'll beat the common enemy together. And we're all happy and resolved. And then what happens? We find out a few minutes later, and it's it, for the viewer. It feels good. You're like, finally, no more war. It's good. They're gonna mm. they're gonna fight the dead White Walkers, who are the real enemy. And we find out a few minutes later that um, <laughs> she lied. Mm -hmm. She's lulling them into a false sense of security. She's making them feel like she's gonna work with them. And while they charge up north to fight the White Walkers, she's gonna take over their land, Daenerys's land in the south. That's mm -hmm. her plan. Now. We need to discuss this, but I want to I want to say I wanna lay out something else as well. Jamie Lannister, who is her incestuous lover brother, and her commander of her armies, who's very benevolent and good at heart, although a little bit egoistic. When he finds out about this, do you remember what he does? No, no. I, uh, yeah, go ahead. Tell me. He leaves, and she 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 has her giant giant security guard there to kind of uh, make him think that he's going to get stopped. And he says, Jamie says to Cersei, you're not going to kill me. And then she says, nobody walks away from me. And then he looks at her and he sees her blink or something. And he says, I don't believe you. And he just walks away and he like just bumps shoulders with the, with the security guard as he leaves. And she chases after him and, and doesn't get him. Mm -hmm. And he leaves. Now, that's the end of season seven. Now, let's talk about honesty, right, when it comes to business and so forth. Cersei gets a competitive advantage uh, in this war against Daenerys and Jon Snow by lying to them, mm -hmm. right? As a result, though, she loses her army. Mm -hmm. Who, who's going to invade the South now, right? What, like, these competitive advantages you get with dishonesty, I believe, they, they last only as long as they can last until an honest person comes around like Jamie finds out it's wrong and then abandons that leader you're absolutely right I, I totally agree I think I think unfortunately the the again being human some of these things are more instinctive it's almost like you have this this reflex that doesn't go up to your brain it goes through the spinal cord type of thing you know I mean if you tap on my knee I don't think about it. it. My leg will jump. So there is a reflex in humanity to be dishonest. There's no question about it. We, we are flawed in flawed beings. Yeah. You got to believe that. You got to understand it. You got to accept it. Um, but we have the capacity to fight the flaws. Even the Mother Teresa with all due respect to Mother Teresa, I would say, and I'm not talking about her specifically, was a flawed being. The reason she is a saint 
is she did not do the reflex. Things went through her brain, and she clarified her life of those things. Or, right. Yeah. So that's what you got to do. Life is a constant struggle. And I think that, again, this is not trying to be a better person or anything like this. It's just the secret of a better life. Uh, if one understands that there is not a single human being in this world who felt good about putting one over the other one. Not, I do not believe that. I may be wrong. Maybe I live in a fantasy. I don't think so. I do not believe that when someone does something bad or puts one over another person in business or anything else, that again in that heart they know it and it doesn't feel good. But they were not strong enough to fight the urge to be bad. Right. And I think that is key. That's key. It's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing. And it's the most selfish thing. You would think the other it's, way yeah. is selfish. Right, right. It's not. This is truly in service of you, making you feel good and, and so forth. And when you feel good, you're a better member of this world. Yeah, yeah. That's the secret. Now, if everybody was like that, what an amazing world this would be, as they say. Right.